Now I'm going to begin my tour with uh, Vuelta Abajo. The uh, seedlings produce fairly gangly transplants and uh, some of them have stood up nicely and others are still tipping back on their stems. But I think they're growing fairly well. We're in the last week of um, June here. We'll go over to Corojo 99 from Robina. And this is uh, my second year growing it and it is really a beautiful plant. I have 16 of these. This is my uh, small bed of um, Virginia bright leaf. Here we have a uh, Japanese beetle trying to threaten me. Uh, this is the set of plants that I was trying the erythritol to see if it suppressed hornworms. And it turns out that they all just kind of disappeared. And I'm suspecting that the erythritol sweetener may have attracted predators that were capable of just eating the sluggish little hornworms. Here we see the dramatic difference. Uh, this half of the bed is midgets. This half is growing fairly nicely. I'm going to wander up past my cucumber trellis. Oh, I have to show you my gigantic radish here. That is a big radish. Let me put a hand in there so you can see how big it is. It's a pretty big radish. Um, the radishes supposedly will suppress cucumber beetles, but I don't believe that. But we'll find out. That's my Slovenian Anka garlic, which is uh, starting to die back a little bit, but not quite ready yet. This is my late uh, plantings of um, Havana 322 uh, where the okra didn't grow. I've got a few eggplants that are clinging to life here. We'll wander past my, um, oh let's see if I can find them, my fat prime gem blackberries. The bed's a mess. I haven't I haven't cleared the weeds out of the bottom of it uh, yet this year. My grapevines. This is a uh, piloto cubano. Beautiful plant. Seems to be growing very well. Here we have the Basuki comparison. These uh, one, two, three, four, five, no, four of them. These four are from Kesselier. The next four are, there's one big one and three small ones, are from Amburu. And then the rest of these are Tabak Anbao. Um, Basuki. So, right now the uh, Kesselier seems to be getting taller than the uh, Tabak Anbao, but I, I think it's all pretty much the same. There's my corn, the corn cob bed, and uh, right now the tallest ones are uh, 
Well, I've got, I'm holding the camera at the level of my mouth, and this plant is, is taller. And way down inside here is my midget little dwarf yellow one. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what's going to happen with that. It's growing so slowly that the bugs are probably going to eat it. These four are um, Corojo from Honduras. And the remaining 12 are uh, Criollo from Cuba. Turn around here. Oh. This is uh, Havana 322. And this is a bed that's been a bit of a problem so far. I don't know if you can see the coloration uh, peculiarity here. But these, this model look is suggestive of um, tobacco mosaic virus. But that hole is where I pulled out the plant that is either uh, affected by fusarium fungus or by uh, tomato spotted wilt virus. Not sure which. But this is the Havana 322 plus the six that I showed you initially. Let's see. We'll go over this way. This is my mint and oregano gone crazy. These are um, Dutch Ohio. That's the big Dutch. And uh, just starting to get going. And this little bit over here is Prankak N1 from, uh, from Indonesia, the island of Prankak. And uh, it's starting to look more like um, one of its parents, which is Ismir. I'll show you my famous deer feeder. This is a uh, circle of fence that encloses my uh, sugar snap peas. And you can see here where I had bent the raw ends of the the wiring and until I closed up these lower ones a deer was coming by sticking its head inside through that hole and grazing everything to the ground and so now I have some some peas that are forming but it's pretty late in, in the season what else can we talk about my pear trees they bear Next to nothing, most years, I've got two of them that survived, and uh, one is Stark King Delicious and the other is uh, Moon Glow. But this year, the timing of the blossoms was just right, and they've exploded with pears. Just gobs and gobs and gobs of pears. I'm in the backyard now where I have a single bed that is uh, veggies and uh, I've got a patty pan and some some uh, purple string beans and this is also my um, McCormick's Blue Giant Corn and it's not all that giant. And that's pretty much it 